it's finally happening. It's finally happening. They're finally doing it. I've been waiting all season. You guys know I've been waiting all season for this and wow, that background is really bright. Also, if you guys hear background noise, my neighbor is playing guitar below me and sometimes I'll go on for like hours. So uh, I decided to record because a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. And I got stuff later that I wanna get done. So I'm recording this video right now. I'm sorry if that carries through, gets picked up. Anyway, this is week 14 of the Supreme spring summer 2020 season and this is by far my most anticipated week i'm in love with this week though i'm seeing a lot of hate towards it it seems like people are really split like they either really love this collection this little capsule that's dropping or they really hate it I hate it that being said week 14 will drop may 28th this thursday at 11 a.m eastern standard time Please calculate the time for yourself. Anyway, this week is highlighted by the Supreme Mac Tools T5025P Tech Series workstation. And yeah, it's like a big workbench. Uh, my dad had like a bunch of snap-on ones when I worked for him and they just got like the drawers that you put the tools in. This is only the bottom cart. It's not like the stacking like double ones that you might see in a lot of shops. But anyway, it's highlighted by this really basic just supreme accessory it's red and you get the supreme spell out on it i think it's cool it's a cool accessory and the other thing that highlights this week is the waves collection a collection that you guys know i've been hyped for i've been waiting all season for this if you guys follow me on instagram if you don't by the way instagram right here in the description there'll be a link but you guys know i've been posting about this every week i'm like dude they just need to drop the waves pants like I, the pants those wave pants are a grail of mine and yeah, I just love them. I think they're beautiful. Though this pattern, obviously this pattern, I guess we'll just jump into the whole collection right now. This is the Waves collection, Waves series, whatever. And I don't think it's really a collaboration with anybody. I think it's just a pattern that they threw on a bunch of different pieces. And I'm, I'm honestly kind of surprised that they're releasing it all at once because usually Supreme will do like these sets of things that all contain the same graphic or pattern on it, but they'll split it up between the weeks. So say one week you might have like that tea dropping and then another week you'll get that ceramic bowl that we're gonna see but yeah it's all dropping together and that's kind of like really the highlight of this week anyway you have this beautiful all over print there's some koi fish and waves in this very japanese-esque style of drawing or painting whatever you want to go with the waves are made up of this blue and green color it's hard to tell whether they're trying to put like i don't know um like some vegetation in with the green but it really does look like the green is just like another part of the wave and another color that goes into the wave though you know i don't know why they have green waves unless there's a whole lot of pollution happening in this uh in this piece or this pattern that they threw on here and then other than that you have a very bright red koi fish and uh, also plastered all over and then this is the critique i have for it they also threw the box logo in and maybe it would have been cool if they just put it in there once but this is also a part of the entire pattern so you have a box logo appearing in several different locations all across the piece and everything i just described is for the white colorway and this also comes in a secondary black and gold colorway with all of the details being in this gold color and then all the kind of like background stuff being black so as far as the silhouettes go you have this on a lot of different pieces you have it coming on work jackets which i think are kind of cool though i think it's possibly a little overbranded. like i said i'm not crazy about the box logo being on there so many times but they also have, if you look closely on the pockets, they have like a little Supreme tab as well. So I don't know. I just think it's maybe a little too overbranded. I really do like their work jackets, but uh, personally, I think this is the piece that it translates the worst on, not the greatest. Um, but I, I still definitely think they're really cool. And next up, you have the pants, which, oh my God, I, I love these pants. I think they're so cool. This whole collection also really reminds me of this floral pattern that they did two seasons ago. You have this floral trench coat right here, which I do have a video about. Uh, shout out you guys if you watch that. But this also came in like a full set. I'm not sure if they did buckets on this. I believe they did some buckets for this, but they definitely did this trench coat. And then it also came in a pant. But I didn't like those floral pants as much because they had the star branding on the pocket, whereas these have kind of like the sup tab that a lot of pants will do. Anyway, I think these are absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of white going on, which kind of scares me. You know, white pants, that's like just a recipe for disaster. 
but um, I love these and I cannot pass up on these so I'm definitely copping this anyway next up we have the long sleeve and looking at the inside you can see like back here by the tag it's white so that kind of leads me to believe that will be a thinner material just like the Supreme Ghost Rider Raglan or a lot of the Raglans are made of just kind of like this thin very uh, breathable material and definitely good for the summer weather so I'm really excited about that or like hopefully you know looking forward to being like that hopefully it's not like a thicker material another thing i really like about this tee is how you have the collar just like a bunch of colors and then it's kind of surrounded by white that's made up of the waves though this might just be that specific one they've shown off and not the case for every single one you know the patterns might not always line up just because of like different cuts in the material but hopefully every tee is like that because i really like the variation of just like the loud collar and then the white and then also you know it helps it keep the collar clean and stay getting dirty being white so next up we have the bucket hat or the crusher i think it's cool it's a vibe you got fish on it bucket hats you know they have like a fishing background and i think you know it's, it's really cool i like it i kind of want to cop one as well but um it's hard man i got such a big head like i never know what's gonna fit barely any hat fits me so it's it's tough it's a, it's a tough life and then the last piece brandishing this pattern is a ceramic bowl very nice ceramic bowl you have this gold circle around the inside and then a box logo centered in the very middle and this does only come in that white colorway and i think it you know makes sense that they only did in the white colorway the white colorway definitely like speaks more to a uh, ceramic or you know like a bowl whatever material anyway i think this is really nice but if you do order it, i'd be very careful or very cautious because a lot of people receive like things like this like pottery and stuff like that broken like the supreme brick was coming broken and then a lot of like maybe the, like the kira collaboration they had the little like uh tray that came broken for a lot of people and the plate um so definitely be careful and keep that in mind so also have all this other garbage shopping i don't really care about any of it really i don't like those shorts they have the eyelet hoodie which i think is gross but i guess people could do some interesting stuff running like shoelaces through it um that hoodie up top i uh, don't like that you got the like fourth of july looking walmart button-ups is gross you have the satin pajama set which i guess is nice but i don't know why like that's unnecessary some over dyed tees the bicycling singlet which is <laughs> weird man looking like a mankini and then the cycling top and then you got some hats i think it's all trash honestly i'm not crazy about any of that but i'm crazy about this waves collection i really like it i love it and i, I gotta get those pants for sure i definitely i'm copping the pants 100 percent even if I miss out on them, I might, might go resell, but that would suck. And then also going for the T maybe, and then the bucket. I'd like to get like the T and the bucket together, definitely secure the pants. And like I said, a lot of people are kind of hating on this collection, this pattern that they used. So uh, hopefully it's a pretty easy week to cop, but um, yeah, yeah. Uh, not a whole lot for resale this week, I don't think. Uh, I, I could see those pants or some of those like waves pattern pieces over time gaining a lot of money like this floral trench like this sat for a while i think and then right now it's at like 400 bucks and like the pants are at like 250 to like 300 so um the, over time like it will gain some uh, value probably but with that being said what do you guys think of this week is this your favorite week probably not uh, i don't know I've, I've just been waiting for those pants all season and i'm hyped but thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next video